I would now like to briefly introduce Professor Kannan Mautgalya, who is going to speak to you on the general projects under the National Mission on Education through uh, Information and Communication Technologies. As you are aware, T10KT is part of the National Mission Project, but there are several large projects going on across the country. And IIT Bombay itself is conducting many of these large-scale projects which have a great impact at the national level. So while I handle two of the projects, there are other colleagues who handle individual projects, Professor Kannan actually coordinates all the projects on behalf of IIT Bombay and also coordinates with the ministry on all activities. More specifically, he has pioneered a method called spoken tutorials, which is turning out to be extremely useful, low-cost self-learning model already used by lakhs of students. He has also pioneered, he worked with me on the Akash project, shoulder to shoulder, and he has taken it forward to create a, an affordable network kind of uh, system, which is very low cost and runs Linux. I would not like to steal thunder from his talk, so I would like to request Professor Kannan to share his thoughts with you. Thank you. Good morning, all the participants in all the remote centers. Welcome to this uh, STTP uh, course on environmental studies. I would like to give a brief view, overview of the NME ICT projects at IIT Bombay. Okay, what is uh, NME ICT? It stands for National Mission on Education through ICT. And uh, I forgot to point out, this is uh, launched by uh, MHRD in the year 2009. T10KT, uh, which stands for train 10,000 teachers, under which uh, ages this workshop is being run, is funded by NME ICT. So that is a connection between NME ICT and the course uh, you have joined for. So NME ICT is a 4,600 crore, um, it was a $1 billion project in 2009. It has three components. First one is to give one GBPS bandwidth. There were only 400 universities in 2009. I think now there are more than 600. And to connect 20,000 colleges out of the, this bandwidth feed to colleges as well. The second major component uh, is the content generation. This T10KT also is funded by, uh, funded under this head. The third one is low cost access stroke computing device. If you have only bandwidth and content, that is not good enough unless our children are empowered with an access device. That is why this project is important. Uh, as Professor Fatek said, uh, Akash project was covered under this. Now we are doing a low cost laptop project about which I will come to shortly. Now I am going to spend the remaining um, rest of this mostly on content generation and uh, this low cost device. Under content generation projects, the first one is T10KT as I mentioned earlier. Uh, it is an acronym, stands for train 10,000 teachers. The second one is e -antra. My colleague, uh, Professor Kavi Arya is coordinating this project. Uh, this is to teach embedded systems and also innovation, creativity, etc. through robotics project, hands-on project. The third one is uh, e-kalpa projects uh, being coordinated by my colleague, Professor Ravi Puvaya of IDC. And uh, uh, in this uh, project, they create a large number of um, instructional material suitable for people who are interested in design. Uh, professor Ravi Puvaya is a, a professor in uh, Industrial Design Center at IIT Bombay. Professor Kavi Arya, um, who handles e Antra project, is a professor in Computer Science and Engineering Department. Virtual Labs is uh, part of a, a national project. Um, at the national level, it is uh, coordinated by Professor Ranjan Bose of IIT Delhi. At IIT Bombay, it is coordinated by uh, Professor Santosh Narona of Chemical Engineering. We have a pedagogy project, 
it is an amazing project, uh, it is uh, led by IIT Karakpur and uh, Professor uh, Sahana Murthy at IIT Bombay is uh, coordinating this project. Now I will talk about uh, spoken tutorial project, this is something that uh, Professor Fatak mentioned a uh, while ago, I have been leading this uh, project. Uh, I will just uh, spend a few minutes on the spoken tutorial project and also on the low cost laptop project. Um, so let me go to spoken tutorial uh, website. So our uh, uh, project is spoken tutorial, if you just do a Google search on spoken tutorial, the first it will be ours and then we uh, train uh, uh, children on ICT uh, topics um, uh, using open source software, although it is called spoken tutorial, it has uh, uh, a video component also, although the speaker's video is not seen. Now if you see here, a large number of uh, videos are available, about 30 different topics and um, uh, these are dubbed into all 22 languages of our, uh, the, of the schedule 8 of our constitution. Um, it has information on how to do um, training, um, software training, how to uh, become a part of this. You do not have to read this, um, I just wanted to give a flavor of it. And at the bottom of this, we have names of my staff members who take care of uh, different states, uh, their email address and their phone number. They will be glad to organize these workshops for you. All the details of this workshop are here. Uh, we train a large number of people through this workshop. If you see here, um, training, uh, we have a list of uh, colleges in which the workshops are taking place. So for example, yesterday was, it is a holiday time, not many workshops are happening, but you can see in Uttarakhand, Assam, uh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Rajasthan. In fact, this workshop is happening in all over the country. And here is the statistics, you can actually go through this. Uh, when you have time, I suggest that you go through this and see the details of uh, what is happening. One of the amazing things of uh, this uh, project is that we have created um, an offline component and I would like you to explore. Using this, you can create your own CD. Okay? Uh, so that in, uh, in a nutshell is about the spoken tutorial project. So the last project in this, it is a FOSI project, it is a free and open source software uh, for education. Uh, this is the other project uh, that I am involved with, it is called uh, FOSI.in. Um, I suggest that you go through this page, there are a lot of activities that happen. A uh, couple of uh, activities of this I would like to point out, one is what is called a textbook companion um, in which uh, students from around the country have been creating um, code for solved examples of various textbooks. We have about 500 Scilab textbook companions, we have about 100 Python textbook companions. Um, these textbook companions are created in every topic. And then lab migration, we help colleges migrate their labs, commercial labs into uh, open source based uh, labs. For example, if you have uh, MATLAB based labs, we will be glad to migrate them to Scilab. Similarly, if you have ORCAD based labs, we will be glad to migrate them to eSIM and so on. Finally, about the uh, low cost uh, access device, um, you all know about uh, Akash uh, project. So you might have seen the Akash uh, device. So this is uh, Akash. Now we have come up with a low cost laptop. So you can see that laptop is a lot bigger. In fact, uh, this is only a small size. Uh, I show this because when I show this laptop, because of its lightweight, people think that this is Akash. This is not Akash. What I showed you was Akash. It has a complete keyboard. Uh, there are three distinguishing features of this uh, laptop. Uh, the first thing is it has an excellent build at a low cost. Uh, we bought 1000 of these to do a pilot study at a cost of rupees uh, 4990, you can say roughly 5000. 
plus uh, customs and tax. Now, uh, so it is low cost, but it has excellent build. It has uh, it is only 800 grams weight, so I can easily lift it with uh, a hand and it has a good battery time 4 to 8 hours. Uh, as a matter of fact, we identified some of the shortcomings of the Akash tablet and corrected all of them. That is point number one, great build at a low cost. Second one it has is that it has um, excellent uh, content and software. For example, I do not know whether you can see it, I will ask our cameraman to zoom it. Here is the offline version of Wikipedia running on this. Uh, we have downloaded, uh, we have made available Wikipedia in all languages, all Indian languages in the offline mode. And uh, similarly, we have um, uh, spoken tutorials available here. Once again in the offline mode, I will ask our people to zoom again. So, here is a spoken tutorial side by side uh, to learn spoken tutorials. On top of it, you will see the two tabs. So, the second thing is it has great software and content and finally, it has a training component through spoken tutorials. And um, let me just point out a place where you get more information and where you can apply for um, this laptop on a selective basis unlike the Akash project, Akash uh, project had a, an outlay of 1 lakh uh, tablets. So, Professor Fotek was uh, magnanimous in giving a large number of these uh, devices to uh, every one of the remote centers. Unfortunately, we cannot do that in this uh, laptop, we got only 1000 of them to do a pilot. But for interested people and uh, people who have done some work on Akash and other open source topics, we uh, will be glad to distribute some of these. Uh, let me show the link to that, okay. laptop.fasi.in. Okay. So, do not worry about this uh, thing not playing, but here you see that uh, tab called apply for Fasi laptop. And uh, you can scroll over this. This is available, uh, we will give preference to uh, our existing remote centers provided they have done good work in the Akash project or in any other open source uh, project. Um, I did send mail in this regard earlier, unfortunately it uh, seems to have not reached the uh, people who participated in our uh, Akash uh, workshop. So, what we will do is we will send a mail again, but I am taking this opportunity to uh, show this link to you. Please encourage all your faculty and students to apply through this link. So, with that uh, I would like to conclude uh, this uh, talk. I think I exceeded by about 5 minutes. I want to uh, thank uh, Professor Fatak for giving me this opportunity and I uh, wish the faculty members and the uh, participants uh, a big success. Thank you Professor Kannan for sharing these exciting activities that are happening here.